So many of you, including myself, have been wondering why John Piper still associates himself with false teachers. And this includes preaching at conferences that are just not necessarily reformed or biblically sound. Conferences like TGC, Passion, and a few others. Well, one of my subscribers sent me a clip of John Piper pretty much breaking down why he still holds onto these relationships. And to be honest, I like his response. I never really thought about it that way, but it does make sense. So this is what John Piper has to say in defense of his unity with false teachers. Please let me know down in the comments if you agree with this strategy. It, it is sticky, and I don't, I don't claim to have it figured out. Um, I, I, don't, I don't presume to claim to say I've got three criteria or a sieve with this size hole that everybody goes through as to whether they'll come to a desiring conference or whether they'll uh, let me come to their conference or church. Um, I, a, a couple of principles would be I don't want to give credence to any doctrine that is um, outside the evangelical orthodox sphere. So if a person believes you can be saved without trusting Christ consciously, I don't want to hang out with them in any way that would give the impression I believe that. Methodologically, I'm really broad. That is, I can tolerate a lot of stuff that I wouldn't do. I don't do it that way. I don't do it your way, you don't do it my way. And I don't do it other people's way. But, but so on methodology, I'm willing to cross more lines. And, and another principle is I, I want to influence people. I want to make everybody a Calvinist. Absolutely do. <laughs> because it's true. And I think we should want people to believe what's true. And so whenever I go anywhere that doesn't have that flavor about it, I'm hoping that I can talk in such a way as to win lots of people over, over to the website or over to the books or over to another sermon. And suddenly they'll start to taste like, whoa, that's biblical, which of course is all that matters, right? The only reason we use the words like Calvinism because we think it's a good summary of biblical truth. So I just want to be biblical. So a principle is I'd like to go places where there are not many like me so that I might win some. <laughs>